This is Video Lancer. Today, I'll show you how to make an adaptive motion design project using my free tools for After Effects. Such a project automatically fits to any composition resolution, and you no longer need to spend much time adapting your widescreen video project to a square or vertical screen. Ready to use adaptive projects you can save as presets for the Motion Bro plugin. A preset is added to the timeline in one click and automatically fits to the user's composition. For more information on creating your preset pack, visit my website, motionbro.com. By the way, for this tutorial, you will also need the Motion Bro plugin installed, as well as my free preset pack, Adaptive Motion Design. Well, let's start the tutorial. As an example, we will use this layout. In the Motion Bro plugin, install the Adaptive Motion Design package and activate it. In this section, you can create null layers that are linked to the auto resizing system. The null preset creates a layer that you can parent with any other layers, and they will become part of a single adaptive layout. Rig layer immediately makes a parent and applies all the necessary settings to the selected layers. You don't have to change the composition size every time to test the resolution quickly. Just choose the appropriate preset from the Test Resolutions category. In addition, you can switch off the expression on the scale property of the Comp Size layer. And now, by changing the size of this layer, you can see how the layout changes in real time. For clarity, you can apply the Comp Mask preset. This will temporarily hide the extra parts of the frame. On the AMD layers, the effects panel has these three reposition controllers. With these controllers, you can customize how this null layer will be transformed, depending on the proportions of the composition. For example, you can visually change the vertical reposition by reducing the screen width to a vertical format. Now, this layout version will be active only for the vertical screen aspect ratio. The Fit Mode property determines how the parented layer will be scaled depending on the aspect ratio of the composition. If the mode is set to Full, the layer will be scaled both in width and height. With Width, the layer will transform in width, but the height of the composition will not affect the size. Similarly, for Mode Height, now the layer is transformed only in height. With the Increase mode, the layer will increase at the moment when the screen proportions increase in width or height. For Rigged layers, the Effects panel has these alignment controls. By customizing them, you can adjust how the layer will be aligned, depending on the composition proportions. For example, for a horizontal format, you can set the alignment of the layers to the left or right. And for other formats, leave the alignment to the center. For alignment to work correctly, the layer's anchor point must be centered. You can quickly move this point to the center by clicking on the Anchor Point tool while holding the Control key. If you want to rig a text layer, then in the Paragraph panel, ensure the text alignment is initially set to center. Next, let's look at some of the features of background presets. Apply this preset and parent it to the layer you will use as the background. Now, when resizing the composition, the background will be scaled so that the image always completely fills the frame. By default, the background is scaled by the center of the composition. Because of this, when changing the screen ratio, important objects in the background may be out of frame. To keep these objects in the frame, you need to change the scaling center point. To do this, temporarily remove the parent for the background image layer. Select the AMD background and use these controls to move the layer so that its center is located over the desired object. Return the parent for the background image. Now, when scaling, the background shifts so that the chosen object always remains in the frame. 
if your background is abstract and rotating it 90 degrees won't ruin the design. You can use the background angle preset. Now with a vertical screen format, the background will be rotated by 90 degrees, and thus the frame will be filled as rationally as possible. The comp size presets adds a layer that automatically scales to fit the current composition. You can parent any neutral background to it, for which disproportionate resizing of the image will not be much of a problem. Also, the comp size layer contains this important controller. Here, you can set the threshold ratio at which square and vertical settings will be displayed. Presets from the 3D category will allow you to make an adaptive scene with 3D layers. Unlike 2D presets, you need to create a 3D scene before rigging. Now you can rig the layers and animate the camera. For 3D scene resolution tests, resizing the comp size layer does not work. Therefore, in this case, use the presets from the Test Resolutions category. Another 3D scene setting to note is the Camera Zoom Fit controller. This parameter determines how the camera zoom will change depending on the current screen aspect ratio. If width is set, the zoom will adjust to fit the composition's width, likewise if height is set. When resizing a composition, effects located on adjustment or vector layers will not automatically resize. To fix this, you need to add an appropriate expression to the size properties of the effect. For example, in this effect, this property is responsible for the size of the distortion. Select it in the timeline and apply the expression Fit Value to Width. Now the effect size will be scaled according to the composition's width. The fit values to width or height expression scales the effect in width until the composition proportions become vertical, and then the effect is scaled in height. With the reposition values expression, you can set a custom value for each of the three aspect ratio formats. Let's look at this expression in more detail using this layout as an example. Here in vertical format, I want this heading to be three lines and center aligned. There is no easy way to do this, so we will make a separate layer of this text, which will only be displayed in vertical format. So duplicate this text layer. Change the text alignment to center and make the heading in three lines. Now we need to make this heading visible only in a vertical format and the original title should be hidden. To do this, select the opacity properties of both text layers and apply the reposition value expression to them. For the vertical heading, set the vertical value variable to 100, set it to 0 for other variables. For the horizontal heading, do the opposite, 0 for vertical value and 100 for other. Now the header looks good in all screen resolutions. The same can be repeated for the Motion Bro logo, so that the minimal version of the logo is displayed in vertical format. Well, that's all. Subscribe to my channel so as not to miss new video tutorials and products for motion design. It was Video Lancer. Bye.